her. So you think it was a robbery gone wrong? What else would it be? A killer on the loose? I can't believe my cousin is dead. Unhand me, you goon! I never killed Gladys! There are always two killers. There's a second killer. Santa never killed Gladys, so whoever did is still out there. Who are you? I'm Wednesday, Wednesday Adams, and I'm coming to be of the age. I just wanted to say hi. So are you nervous to see her? Not anymore. I need some answers. Me too. There she is. Are these your friends? She tried to kill us! Not really. Hey, remember La Cienega? Your visitation is for 20 minutes. And remember, no funny business. There's no funny business left in me since you gave me that orange pill at lunch. So you finally ended up where you belong. A psychiatric ward for the mentally disturbed. It isn't all that bad. Best lawyers in the world got to be in here. Or I'd be rotting in some penitentiary where the drugs are half as good. Do you even have the slightest bit of remorse for what you did? Yes, because I didn't accomplish what I set out to do. To get rid of Cinnamon. She had that monstrous purple Barney rhubarb protecting her. Girl, you are batshit cray. Wait, Roger, you're still alive. How did you escape the, the piranhas? Luckily, I love to swim, and I am very good at it. The toxicity from the chlorine pool filled their little bodies, and they were poisoned. And I was able to escape. But when I came back with the police, she was gone, and the pool was cleaned up, with not one ounce of evidence left. Not to mention the security cameras were totally wiped clean of any record. Luckily, Rasha over here got away with only some bites from the piranhas on his cute little tushy. What we don't understand is, why? Why did you do this? And who is this other girl? Which girl? Wednesday Adams. Wait, 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 wait. Wednesday Adams? Like from the Adams family? Like the original TV series in 1964? Or the movie in 1991? Or the new show in 2022 on Netflix? And don't let me start on the animated. I don't know anything about that. But I met her at Hawthorne Sacred Heart Academy, a private boarding school for mischievous girls. <laughs> Congratulations, La Cienega. Ah! You need to stop doing that, Wednesday. You managed to get expelled from this place before me. That's commendable. Not a moment too soon. Just because I could manage it in this boarding school doesn't mean I belong in this prison for naughty girls. Where are you headed to next? I don't know. Maybe I'll go to New York. Or visit my cousin in that godforsaken sleepy town she lives in, Beverly Valley. I just wanted to say, I enjoyed watching you terrorize the students and the teachers. I will miss her camaraderie. Thank you. We'll keep in touch. She will do great things. There you are. So you're telling me you knew her from before? You're not answering our question! Why did she attack us? Yes, I knew that emo Wendy's mascot from before, but don't you give her an ounce of credit for the plan that I constructed! Osianica, stay in your seat! Oh, screw you, Craig! They're so over-scrupulous here. Girl, chill. Where was I? Yes. 
Cinnamon and I's 18th birthdays are coming up very soon. We're both Gemini's. Go figure. Totally makes sense. Crazy. We share a trust for $120 million that is to be allocated to us on our 18th birthday. So you wanted to kill her over money? Isn't that why anyone kills anyone? True. But what about Wednesday? Yes, and what about the attacks? Me, Strawberry, Gladys, who? The girl you got killed. A dandruff girl, she was collateral damage. When I can't do this plan, I knew I needed help. So when my dear old friend Wednesday Adams contacted me out of the blue, everything fell into place. You see, Wednesday called me one fine morning saying that she got expelled from Hawthorne Sacred Heart Academy. So I proposed for her to come to Beverly Valley High. So she just helped you just cause? <gasps> they make this so easy. She's the only person I know insane enough to help me. She thought all of this was a practical joke. I just wanted Cinnamon's head. The rest of the attacks were decoys by Wednesday. So all of this wouldn't lead back to me. Which obviously didn't work, because I'm in here. And she's out there scot free. You know you're borderline dumb, right? Cinnamon's totally getting access to your entire trust fund. Oh, great plan, La Cienica. You're broke in a psych ward. Who does things like this? Wednesday's unlike any other person I've ever met before. I'm not even sure she's human. You two are pure evil. Rasha. I'm evil for revenge. For my own selfish reasons. I thought I was bad. All I ever wanted to do was take her off the cheerleading team. You wanted to take her off the planet. Wednesday, she's evil for sport, which is far more dangerous. <laughs> so Wednesday kills Gladys? It's time for my red pill. The one that makes me feel like I'm flying on a dragon. God, I love this place. Free meals, free therapy, free drugs. Best rehab I've been to. <laughs> therapy and drugs? Do you have a pamphlet for this place? An intake form? Sir, how much is a monthly membership here or do I just have to kill someone to get in here? <gasps> Strawberry, are you crazy? There's 8 billion people in the world, Raja. It's not that deep. <sighs> Goodbye, friends. My therapist told me to tell you I'm sorry. But I'm really not. I'd do it again! <laughs> I won. <laughs> I'd do it a thousand times! That was a lot. That Wednesday Adams is a psychopath! She's coming to our high school unaffected. Think about how many students will be in danger now! Well, see, Annika took the fall for the both of them and she doesn't even care because she's on mind to make drugs! <gasps> Raja, we have to get a confession out of Wednesday Adams. It's the only way she'll get convicted. Let's go! Coming! You don't even need those! Yes, but I wanted people to feel bad for me. Magnifique journée. Darling, oh. that's fresh. <laughs> you know what that does to me? <laughs> Sweetheart, you seem less gloomy than usual. What is the matter? Are you upset that no one was amused by the practical joke you play dressing up as that fictional killer character? You think people would be more open to having some sort of adrenaline in their otherwise sterile lives? Or at least a sense of humor? Your mother and I are still laughing at how funny it was, wearing masks, killing people. <laughs> I'm afraid we're the only ones who think it's funny. Everyone else turned it into something serious, all because that one girl died. Oh, honey, you need to learn to adapt. You've already been kicked out of Hawthorne, boarding school, private school, military camp, juvie, and several homeschools. This is your last resort, and... Well, it doesn't look all that bad. You said your friend from Hawthorne went here and she's doing great. What was her name? Oh, yes. Licinia. La Cienega. She's in a loony bin now. Wonderful! What's the occasion? They put her there as a form of punishment. Punishing people with rewards. How strange. 
people might be a little upset with you today. Why don't you come back another day? Let the heat die down a little. And show fear? No, father. That's my girl. But remember, my dear, this is your last chance. We need you to be on your best behavior. People in this town are strange. They merit things such as kindness. You need to assimilate and lay low. Always trying to curb me, mother. They're just teenagers in a public school. Nothing I can't handle. Good luck, my darling. Bigots. Oh, look, they're throwing a welcome party for our beautiful Wednesday. Such beautiful art. Oh, have fun, darling. Let's go, my love. She's here. Murderer. Ouch, those signs are all very hurtful. And that one has a spelling mistake. I'm whom you are all waiting for, I presume. I'm Wednesday Adams. Looks more like a Monday to me. What does that even mean, Jenny? Because Monday is the worst day of the week. She don't look like a Wednesday. We know you killed Candace. Candace? Yeah, her. Murderer! Hold this. What is Cinnamon doing? He is a murderer. Cinnamon's scarier, trust me. No one wants you here, Chalkboard. And if you knew, what was good for you, you would leave BBH. Yeah, loser! Go get some sun! I can practically see right through you! Have anything to say? Why don't you just turn around, you greasy-haired voodoo doll? Yeah, f you! Jennifer! Pathetic. Make sure you all come to Gladys's memorial... Memorial? Killed it. Don't you think that's a little too morbid for right now? <laughs> JK never. <laughs> I'm having such a good week. Killing it in cheer practice. My psycho cousin is in a psych ward. All I need to do is get rid of that Wednesday Adams. Ew, someone left their dirty tamps in there. Did you hear? Apparently she gets supernatural visions of the future. Talk about demonic. <laughs> I don't think that shit for one second. She's a total liar. Takes on to know one. <laughs> Let's go shower, girl. Shoot the shit train, I got no sun, there's only rain, I wanna crash. That was such an amazing shower. It was blood. Cat's blood. Ah! I knew it! <laughs> I'm allergic to cats! Oh yeah, that's disgusting! Look at us! Expel her, I demand it! Girls, girls, please leave. I'll handle this. You better do your job here or I'm gonna get my father involved. Let's go, girls. Am I expelled yet? All right, Wednesday, listen. I've read your file. Actually, I've skimmed it. It's rather huge. 
You've been kicked out of every place possible to be kicked out of. It's my specialty. You see, Wednesday, here at this school, we believe in reform, not punishment. We've tried the punishment thing and parents tend to freak out. Creates a whole mess. A lot of paperwork. Punishment is more impactful. You're a smart girl, but that won't get you very far without a degree. And this is your last chance at getting one. So you're going to have to stay out of trouble from here on out. I believe in you, Wednesday. I don't want to change you. I want to work with you. Really? You're going to have to meet me halfway, though. You're going to have to do 100 hours of community service and a month's worth of sessions with your guidance counselor. That sounds more like punishment than reform. Think of it more as a learning opportunity. <laughs> if there's no other option than therapy, I shall oblige. All right. Please come! Please! Here's your change and your prom ticket will be emailed to you. Thank you! Do you have a date? Oh, whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, I feel so bad. So annoying. How are the ticket sales going for prom girls? Yeah. It ain't going too well because we have that grieving cousin over there who keeps scaring people away. Shut up, Mary. Get over it. She's dead. Move on. How can I get over it when the killer of my beautiful cousin is walking the halls among us and all you care about is prom? She's kind of right. A bad word. If Gladys wanted us to care about her death, she shouldn't have died around prom time. Just saying. Cinnamon! Where's the lie, Rhea? Yeah. Where's the lie? Where is it? Lie! Where are you? Can't find it. Oh, <laughs> Prom is more important than your cousin who had really bad dandruff. You are all devil worshippers. That was really fitting, since I'm wearing all red today. You're right! Glad I should have waited till the summer to die. Anywho, Rhea, you better make today's sales quota or you'll be the one gluing the balloon arch together. Let's go, Rhubarb. Let's go, Rhubarb. Hey, can I buy a ticket for prom? Sure, that'll be $1.99. 200 bucks for a prom ticket? Are you insane? Cinnamon set the price. Jenny, where are your clothes? So you have a prom date? No, but quick question. Did that Wednesday chick buy her prom ticket yet? Uh, um, no, she didn't. Oh, damn, I know she's a killer, but I totally hit that. Something about that gothic murdery vibe is totally turning me on. Forget about Wednesday, I'll show you Friday. <laughs> Chad, are you coming to Gladys' memorial, baby daddy? Oh, I'm so busy tonight, homework. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Please come. Poor Mary. Poor Gladys. I wonder if Samantha H knows. He's so beautiful here. I can't wait to get back from this remote place with no Wi-Fi service and show Gladys these pictures. She's going to love them. <sighs> get your prom tickets. Yes. Get your prom Get them! I also still do not have a date. So anyone, not you, you're ugly. Hey you, do you have a, I'm just gonna go to you. <laughs> so Wednesday has to see the guidance counselor for therapy? 
that is her punishment for showering you in cat's blood? That's it? Jokes on her. Blood is actually great for your skin. But no, this is great because now she could totally confess to the therapist. The counselor cannot use a confession in therapy as evidence because of patient confidentiality rules. What if the therapist she says it to is not the real therapist she thinks she is? What? I think I have an idea. Trust me. <gasps> okay, time's up. Pencils down. Let's see what you drew up for your first exercise. Oh, what are we looking at? This is a pile of BVH students. I kill them by injecting them with a lethal but untraceable dose of cyanide, which would never show up in an autopsy. Then I stack them up like wood. There I am, about to light them up like a bonfire and use their ashes as makeup for the rest of the year. Oh dear, very imaginative. I'm gonna keep that for record. Oh, I can't hear anything, Raja. We need to get closer. We would have to be inside the room. <sighs> Here's a sticker for effort. <gasps> I baked something special for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe later. Enough with drawing. Let's do a positive affirmation exercise. Where are my positive affirmation cue cards? I left them in the staff room. I'll be right back Wednesday. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Okay. He's coming. Okay, follow my lead. I have a plan. You need to hide. <laughs> oh, Miss Proudian, I need some help. Oh dear, book an appointment with me so I can help you properly. Oh, I do have an appointment. And it's right now. This won't hurt, I promise. JK. <laughs> Hi, Strawberry. Oh, how did you know it was me? I can smell your passion fruit Seabury's body spray from down the hall, and I'm assuming Raja's with you because they smell ginger and cardamom, which I'm assuming is from his Indian chai that he drank this morning. Now, enlighten me why you're ambushing me here while I'm obviously in therapy trying to better myself. We're here to get a confession out of you. We know you killed Glanis. We just can't prove it yet. And I know you attacked me. I did both of those things. Raja, did you get a, a confession? Jake, I wasn't recording. How do you even use this thing? Use your phone, you idiot. I don't uh -huh. have it on me. Before you acquire this mountain of evidence on me, I would like to apologize to the both of you. Wait, really? These two minutes I had in therapy has changed me. Now I can't bring Gladys back, but I can be different moving forward. Would you like to come to Gladys's memorial tonight with me? Very much so. Her pregnant cousin could use some support right now. Very sweet of you. Roger, are you serious right now? Strawberry, what is the reason for punishment other than to accomplish change? She's trying to change. Raja, a word? Huh? You don't believe in this crap, do you? Actually, I do. She seems like she wants to change. And strawberry, I want to get over this tragedy. I want to go to Gladys' memorial. I want to pay my respects. And I want to let her rest. But no. Sometimes fighting for justice becomes fighting for revenge. And we don't even realize it. I'm done. And you should be too. All of this has consumed me. I just realized I haven't been to one class today. So I will be leaving. See you tonight. I should leave too. I forgot I released all the frogs in the lab. That was before my reckoning. I shouldn't do that. Wait. Forget about that. No one will even know it's you. How about some girl time? I'm headed to the tanning salon and why don't you come with? Honestly, girl, you need it. You're looking like a piece of paper. I shall accept your invite. I'm in no position to pass up friends. Besides, scorching my skin under harmful UV rays Sounds delightful. I'm more of a spray girl, but to each their own. Hello, Miss Proudian. I'm here for my session. Huh? Girl, what are you doing here? Since when do you see Miss Proudian? For what? Not that it's any of your business, Strawberry, but Miss Proudian helps me with my emotional eating. Ooh, cupcake. I wouldn't eat those. That is so much sugar. Uh, what the actual? Uh, 
Sorry, old habits die hard. Damn it, Wednesday! Oh, but I'm still gonna eat it because it tastes so good. Ah. Girl, wipe yourself up with a tamp or something. Oh, that hurts. Oh. I'm delicious. So all I have to do is go in there and I'll come out a human flesh color? Mm-hmm. But leave your purse out here. The UV rays will totally ruin the black leather. <laughs> there we go. Right here. <laughs> Just push the start button at the top. Girl, you are gonna look amazing. It's getting really hot in here. Mm -hmm. I find in the sun. <laughs> Light bulb sun. <laughs> okay, I have 12 minutes to find any incriminating evidence I can get on this lunatic. Raja may not want to throw her in jail, but I sure do. I can feel my skin burning. I like it. That means it's working. How much longer do I have to be in here for? Just a little longer, you're almost glowing. <gasps> the receipt for the piranhas from Al's fish supply and more <gasps> for the exact date Francia got attacked. Yes, 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 yes. What are you doing? Um. I found the receipt for the piranhas, you lunatic. Is that why you took me tanning? To get evidence on me because you don't believe I've changed? Well, um, I, uh... This is why I don't want to change. Because even when I try, people still see me the exact same way. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to get ready for tonight. What's tonight? Gladys's memorial. And you call me the evil one. By the way, you can keep the receipt. I'm ready for the repercussions. She was quiet, but mighty, and a fantastic balloon artist, and an amazing tap dancer, but no one knew her, so they could never see how amazing she was. She was supposed to be the godmother of my baby. We will miss you, Gladys. My cousin. <laughs> You monster! No, Mary, she's here to apologize. Yes, I have seen the error in my ways, and though I do not feel any remorse, that does not mean the people around me do not. I'm sorry for any pain my actions have caused. That means a lot. You showing up here shows that you care. I'm sorry, Gladys. <laughs> it's a good thing that you're not here with us today to see how soulless your classmates are. And apparently the only people that care are your murderer and an Indian boy who's really cute and makes me feel unholy things. I apologize, Gladys. She's possessed! Oh, she's possessed! Are you okay? Congratulations. What? Gladys is still alive. Oh, shit. You are a nutsack. What? It's <laughs> a nuts. Nutcase. Girl, you are batshit. You know, I can't add right. these in because the do They bit me here. Oh. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Hmm. <laughs> Punishment. You can do something with your I'm eyebrow. confused why you're talking. Do something with your eyebrow. Look at this. No one wants to hear chalkboard. And if you knew what was good for you,
Gladys, I miss you, but now you are with him. <laughs>